Hi again, everybody. I'm Rob Rosenthal with AskTheLawyers.com. Welcome to another edition of Ask the Lawyers. Attorney Kathy MacArthur of the MacArthur Law Firm in Macon, Georgia, has been honored as one of the top 10 lawyers in the state of Georgia by Super Lawyers. And today we're going to take a little time to get to know Kathy a little bit better. And uh, Kathy, thank you so much for taking some time to be with us today. First of all, congratulations on your honor. What does that mean to you? Well, um, you know, being selected as one of the top 10 lawyers in the state of Georgia is an incredible and a, a stunning thing in that it is, uh, there are over 40,000 lawyers in the state of Georgia. Wow. So that when somehow, some way, through whatever miracle occurred, you get named as in the top 10, it's, um, it's just mind boggling. Actually, it's the culmination of a 40 year career and it's something that I, I truly wish my parents had lived to see because I can still hear my dad saying, my daughter's not the kind of woman who would be a lawyer. <laughs> so, well, then that leads us into the logical question. Let's talk about your history a little bit. Why did you become an attorney? Obviously, your father wasn't 100 percent behind that. No, he wasn't. And um, I, I suspected I knew what he was talking about, that he thought that you had to be an incredibly aggressive and uh, angry, uh, some would call bitchy woman to be that. And um, what I have found is that it um, is more important to be detail conscious, to be right on the facts, to be reasonable and fair-minded and, and just treat everybody the way you would want to be treated in the practice of law. But I started in 1979, and uh, at that time, you know, we women attorneys didn't even get invited to go to lunch with the guys no. because uh, the wives of the male attorneys were fearful of our being home records or, or whatever. And, you know, it was, um, I was placed in the office of a very elderly attorney. I, I didn't know it at the time, but I was put in his office and he was highly offended and thought it was just uh, incredibly insulting to him that a female attorney had been put in his office. And um, it just goes on from there uh, with comments from male attorneys like, um, tell uh, my senior partner not to send a little girl to do his dirty work. Or, you know, we've come a long, long way in the practice of law to where, um, you know, this could even happen. Um, I became a trial attorney because I was given an opportunity to, uh, by a senior attorney who was the uh, senior partner in the old firm. Um, some, it was almost 40 years ago. He gave me the opportunity to work on his cases of people who were catastrophically injured or who had been uh, the victims of medical malpractice or had suffered wrongful death. And I, I learned from a master and from there, I've just worked incredibly hard um, to um, create the reputation that I have and the success that I've been blessed with. And uh, truly getting something like this is a tribute to my entire team of my office because one person uh, can't do what we do. It's a full team effort. So I take it as I've got the top 10 team of people in the state of Georgia. What is it about the practice area of uh, personal injury law that ha that uh, attracted you, that made you want to pursue that and, and become so successful in that area? Well, obviously, helping people um, and making the world a better place mm -hmm. are, are um, important parts of that question. But uh, where it's a malpractice issue, it's changing medicine for the better for everyone changing how uh, doctors, nurses, medical professionals do things because they're required by our cases to recognize that the standard of care requires them to follow the safety rules. That's something that I find to be very, very rewarding when I see that they now use ultrasound in every central line placement or that they require a doctor to be present if an allergy shot is given such that if there's an anaphylactic reaction, the patient doesn't suffocate as the client that we represented did. Mm. Um, so in malpractice, uh, that's the benefit is you change medicine for the better for everybody. In personal injury cases, uh, particularly trucking cases, the same thing. You hold the industry to safety standards that it helps the individual, which is a great thing, but it really helps everyone across the board 
uh, when safety rules are uh, adhered to within the industry. And that's what attracts me to it. So 40 years of doing this, honored as a, a top 10 uh, lawyer in Georgia. This would be a time you could say, okay, I'm going to go sit on a beach somewhere and, and rest on my laurels and let somebody else. Why keep doing it? Well, I love what I do. I love helping people. I love the things that I just told you about. Um, the fact is, I've thought about going and sitting on the beach, and I think I could do that for <laughs> two or three days, and then I'd want to be right back at it. So I love the clients. Uh, I like the one-on-one -on -one contact with them. Um, and I like being part of everybody's lives. I, I like hearing from clients years later about what I did for them mm -hmm. and what in their lives and changed their lives. I mean, it's just a very, very rewarding career. And, you know, um, I guess my, my work is also my passion. I can't, I don't want to go crochet or, uh, you know, raise uh, horses or right. I don't know what I might do. But, I, you know, I love what I do as much as I love any of the things that I do in my free time. Um, so I guess I'm, I don't think it's that I'm a workaholic. I, but I do work hard, but I'm yeah. very passionate about what I do, and I can't see ever wanting to stop. So uh, you mentioned your team before. Uh, tell us a little bit what makes you and, and MacArthur Law Firm unique. What makes you guys different? Well, one thing is the, uh, the passion of every team member as far as uh, helping the client that's involved. But you can't win these cases unless you get every detail right. You have to know every detail to get every detail right. We have to prove every aspect of the case. The defense only has to shoot one hole in the case. So the team of people we have working here, we have people who do the technology of the case. We have people who handle getting the witnesses prepared and present at the times they're needed at trial. We have people who handle making certain that we have every medical record from the past of our client. So there's no trip up on something they don't remember. And it, it's not that they're lying, it, but they can be made to look like they're lying. It's a, um, it's a very, very detail, uh, intensive type of work. I have uh, Caleb Walker, who is the finest legal mind uh, and um, communicator with regard to legal issues that I have ever seen in my practice of law. I have Jessica Applegate Edmonds, who is the most aggressive female uh, lawyer, even more so than I am, um, learning to be a trial lawyer, and, and she's just really super. And then we have Jordan Josie, who's the nicest guy lawyer you'll ever meet, who has been with us now about two years um, as an attorney. He was with us as uh, a law clerk before that, and he's in training to be a trial lawyer, but we have we bring the whole team. It's not We're not separate lawyers. Then we have paralegals that are the best paralegals ever. I have two people who have been with me for over 30 years practicing law, wow. not but paralegals and my administrative assistant. I mean, the people who work here stay here, and that's what's uh, special about our team. We don't have turnover. Does it make a difference, Kathy, that you guys are also, you're prepared to go to court. You're prepared to uh, be in a, in a courtroom. You're, you're litigators. Absolutely. And, you know, people, um, if you think about it uh, from a common sense standpoint, that if an insurance company knows that you will take them to trial and if they won't be fair or offer the right amount of money to your client, you will put them in front of a jury and ask a jury to do it. If you will do that, then insurance companies pay you more money to settle cases than they would to somebody whose reputation and practice is that they settle all their cases, which, you know, less than 5% of attorneys go to actually go to trial, yeah. to verdict. We'd go to trial, we go to verdict on the cases where we have to, and it helps all of our other cases uh, get settled and not have to go to trial, but we get more money for our clients than other firms do because of that is my opinion. Well, once again, congratulations on the honor of uh, being named one of the uh, top 10 attorneys in Georgia. How many attorneys did you say there are in the state of Georgia? There are over 40,000 wow. attorneys in the state of Georgia. Very and impressive. Very impressive. Thank you for your time today, Kathy. I appreciate it. Thank you. My guest has been Kathy MacArthur, the MacArthur Law Firm, and that's going to do it for another episode of Ask the Lawyers. 
Please, if you have a chance, take a second to click on the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen, and that way you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any future episodes. And if you're ready to find a lawyer who can help you with your issues, choose a lawyer that lawyers choose at askthelawyers.com. Thank you.